Hello, my name is Adrian Bridge and welcome to the Bridge Collection. What you will find in this museum is an extraordinary amount of drinking vessels that have been used for religious, ritual, ceremonial, celebratory purposes over the last 9,000 years. And to gather in one place this extraordinary collection which tells mankind's intimate relationship with alcoholic beverages over an extraordinary span of time and through many, many cultures has been a passion of mine over the years. What I want to do is to try to pick out one piece every month, which we're calling the collector's choice, where I can tell you a little bit about its purpose, why I bought it, and perhaps some of the stories behind that extraordinary vessel. Let's look at this month's collector's choice. And I'm particularly picking out uh, this little example here, which is a Roma. Uh, these are Dutch or German. Um, lovely little glasses coming from, again, late Middle Ages, but we see them right the way through to the uh, uh, 17th century. And, and they're rather fun uh, for a number of reasons. They're typically made in this green glass. Green glass is one of the easiest colors of glass to actually uh, make. But they're made really in three different stages. You've got the uh, cup at the top, uh, the bowl, fitting onto a stem. In this case, it is a hollow stem. But interesting enough, it's been uh, attached with these little blobs of glass, which we call raspberry prunts. If you actually look at them quite closely, you will see that the, once they apply the hot blob of glass on there, they then press a small mold onto it, which, which creates a sort of the effect of a skin of a raspberry. And then typically, and, and this is the bit perhaps most interesting, is you find that the base of these is, is created through this twirl of molten glass that is laid one on top of each other and then expanding out to form this, this wonderful uh, stable base. Many different sizes and in the uh, Bridge Collection you'll see several of the green variety. You'll also actually see um, a rarer, very large white um, example. So look out for that when you go around. But these are rummers um, used for mostly drinking wine, occasionally beer and some of the bigger examples, but lovely uh, to have. And let's just remember when you look at those raspberry punts to sort of think to ourselves, why did they do that? The answer is fun. The answer is that at this period, um, people typically didn't use cutlery to eat their food. So their fingers were greasy. And so when they went to pick up their glass, they didn't want to drop it. And so these lumps facilitate not dropping the glass. And of course, the shape also allows the hand to fit round and stops the glass sliding. So uh, two ways to make sure that you don't lose your glass of wine. 